right so i know i've been off of youtube for a long for a while pretty much four months since the beginning of january 2024 i had personal things going on considering that i'm about to graduate this year so um yeah so i thought i'd come back but this isn't a stop motion video i'm pretty sure you guys see this thumbnail as you guys see on my channel but yeah i thought i'd just come on and talk about my favorite lego ninjago sets that are coming out this summer of 2024 and i will be making more of these videos i've mostly been busy playing out ninjago scripts and lego dc and marvel videos i'm not just going to be making ninjago videos i'm also going to be doing both dc and marvel related stuff so if you guys want to voice act let me know down in the comments dm me on my instagram my tiktok all those will be in the description below so yeah with that being said let's get into the video so and before i even start with the legos i gotta let you know we're gonna start our way from small to the biggest lego ninjago set so yeah with that being said let's jump in all right so the first set this is small we all know that so we're starting off with zane's motorcycle bike uh i think this set looks okay i may get it i mean this version of zane is gonna come in other big lego ninjago 2024 summer sets so overall i think it's great but it's just one figure and i feel like we could have gotten a wolf figure but it's whatever i mean lego does pretty good job with lego marvel and ninjago i'm not trying to be rude i'm i just i'm just giving my stated opinion here so yeah overall i think this is a pretty neat set so yeah so the next one we got is the tournament of elements battle i think this set is pretty pretty decent good i like the j minifigure the evil j minifigure looks really awesome i mean we're gonna be seeing him in season three hopefully we can be seeing him maybe at the season finale of lego ninjago dragon rising blood moon and um i think the suits for kai and sora they look they look really great i'm not gonna lie they look really really awesome the toxikita figure over there it looks really really amazing and the wolf figure looks really looks really awesome the cinder figure i half like it but i don't like the ghost legs so i feel like i could just replace that with like simple gray legs maybe he might get that in the ninjago blood moon part two in this shum in the summer show so overall i think this set is really great this set is retailing for for 49 dollars in the u.s which is where i live so i know what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be picking that set up but i'm mostly focused on ninjago season 2 dragon rising since i haven't even got all the sets yet because i've been busy with other things so uh yeah i think this is a really great set so the next one is the lego ninjago ultra stealth raider now this set looks really great i mean we've i we have not gotten a nia in her hairpiece since 2021 or ninjago 2022 or probably 2023 i i i can't remember i mean i have so many of the of those types of hair pieces but anyways on the figures cole looks really amazing and sora looks great and the two wolf figures they're they're really great i'm not gonna lie i mean the armor printing it's it's really awesome so overall i think this set is really great so um yeah i'll i'm definitely picking this set up <laughs> i mean i know a while back i made a evolution of the ultra stealth raider set but i'm probably gonna make an updated version on that very soon so yeah overall like i said really great set I mean, nothing to complain about so the next one we got and this is a set i am probably not gonna pick up is cole's mech i mean i feel like we could have gotten more figures i'd like to set more i mean the suit for cole i'm pretty sure it it looks great it looks kind of a bit out of like one of the lego nexo knight characters but the mech i think it looks really great but it has just like one figure it's kind of a bit weird so this is like the only lego ninjago 2024 set that i will not be picking up i mean unless if you guys feel like it but this is just my opinion on on these sets so um yeah so overall i don't think i like this set so yeah 
So the next one we are on is with the Lego Ninjago Dragon Rising Wolf Dragon. I mean, I mean, it looks like Lord Ross is controlling the dragon, so I'm gonna call it that. And with those baby dragons and the figures, I'm not gonna lie. This set looks really great. I ain't gonna lie. This is set to be the most expensive set for $150, and I know darn well that I'm buying this set. You know what I'm gonna say? I know damn well I'm buying this set. So this is a really great set overall so i'm i think i'm gonna pick the set up and the set comes with jordana wildfire kai aaron lord ross and and one of the wolf warrior minifigures so yeah i mean i know they're minions so basically armies every villain has armies so um yeah so overall this set is really dope so i'm i i'm i definitely think this is a great one now Let's move on. <laughs> All right. So before we move to our grand finale of showing the Lego Ninjago 2024 summer sets, I forgot to mention that they had made a poly bag, which comes with coal and a wool figure. Honestly, think it's cool, but I think you, but I think you would mostly want that for just another wolf mask warrior figure if you like want an entire army for the summer wave of 2024 so yeah and i know this is like they these are like two weeks behind and and um yeah i know these are like two weeks behind and i've just been busy with life so i pretty much didn't have the time to get these videos out so yeah now let's get in to the grand finale of showing the lego ninjago summer wave of 2024 so yeah all right so for the grand finale we got the lego ninjago tournament temple city now this this is a set that is worth spending money now i know like some of us that are probably younger can't afford this set but but this is a set that is probably worth spending your pennies on because I think the figures look great. And for the first time ever, we finally get an invisible minifigure. The gold robot figure. I don't know who that is. Maybe that could be a, a Echo Zane or something, I think. I don't know. But I think this is a really, really neat set. And I like it. So, yeah. Pretty much, this is a set that is worth getting. So, um, yeah. Well, alright. That is going to do for this video. And... Note, this is just my opinion I have about the set, so you guys can have your opinions, so we're all human at the end of the day, we can, we, we like what we like, we don't like what we don't like, so, um, yeah, so that's gonna do for this video today, let me know down in the comments if you guys like to see more videos like this, and I will try to see if I could do stop motion, I am currently busy building the Lego Ninjago Dragon Temple Spirit Set, so, yeah, so with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.